Welcome to our tutorial on tables. Tables, which are typically used for UI mockups, are another type of custom content that add value and depth to your document. Make sure that the UI mockups shape set from the library is loaded. Locate the UI input category in the toolbar and drag the table icon to the canvas. Customize the table data by double clicking the table to open the table dialog. A comma denotes a new column and a line break denotes a new row. For example, I can add a line between James and Maria and type in Carly, who is 25 years old, a set of empty square brackets to denote an empty checkbox to show that she is currently not working, and a set of parentheses to denote an unselected radio button signifying that she is not a manager. The following special buttons can be used. Empty square brackets denote an empty checkbox. Square brackets with an X denote a checked checkbox. Empty parentheses denote an unselected radio button. And parentheses with an O denote a selected radio button. Column widths are the neat part. In the default table, the left to right column width ratio is set in the last line surrounded by curly brackets. 3L 1, 0, 0 denotes a 3 to 1 to 0 to 0 ratio of column widths, where 0 represents auto scaling of the column to fit the width of the column content. Left, center, and right alignment of a column can be set by adding an L, R, or C adjacent to each number. For example, changing the line to read 3C. 1R, 0L, 2 would create a left column with centered text that is three times as wide as the second column, a second column with text aligned to the right, a third column that auto scales and has left aligned text, and a fourth column that is twice as wide as the second column. Let's see how that looks. Should the table be missing the last line with curly brackets, the defaults for a chart are zero or auto scaling column widths with centered aligned text. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.